Hey everybody, the Bung is back. Let's play Mega Man X Part 5. Right now we are still in Storm Eagle's level and we're pretty much near the end, so let's keep moving onwards. There's another stretch of enemies. Um, oh, that's it. Just platforming from now on. Alright, now we're on the aircraft which holds Storm Eagle's lair. Oh, this is pretty much the end, so let's get Sting Chameleon's weapon ready. Blow that shit up! Birds! Time to pay for all the suffering you have caused me. Away from me, motherfuckers. It makes no difference. I still kill you. Like that. Oh man, that shit's gonna fall. It's not looking good. But of course, I can teleport, so I'm unaffected. You get Storm Tornado. Uh, why is he purple? What's wrong? Okay, that leaves me with one more left to go. Flame Mammoth, 10 foot 5, 719 pounds. Fire Wave, Oiling, and Jump Press. That's quite an array of attacks. But no matter. He'll die anyway. Like the rest of his brethren. Now mind you, if you did not beat Chill Penguin, this ground would not be icy, and there would be lava here instead of ice. And when there's ice, that means you cannot get that heart upgrade without probably dying, so... If you beat Chill Penguin, you got a pretty good chance now. No, let me go! Now there's a body part up here, so I gotta time myself perfectly. Now this might take a while. Hmm, get me up there! Look, do you want that maximum power or not? Oh wait, I can't even get up there anyway. I don't even have the helmet. I just wasted valuable seconds, stupid me. The least I can do is get that heart upgrade. Wait a minute, those miners look a bit familiar. I think they were one of the enemies in Gutsman stage in Mega Man 1. You know, the ones with the shield and throw picks at pickaxes at ya? That's what they remind me of. Why is it lagging a bit? Well, that was a bit too much there. Wait, I was going the wrong way. Looking for that sub tank. Okay, now the lag is getting a little bit too much. So we'll try to adjust. Break that up too. There we go. Now I got three sub tanks. There's another one we can get in Spark Mandrel's level that we can actually get now. But we're gonna kill this guy first. Since after I kill this guy, I got a lot of backtracking to do. Because now I got all eight weapons.
crush us! Uh, can I just slide past that? Of course. Let's go this way. Go. Whoa, that was close. That wasn't. Okay, now we're taking out Flame Mammoth, and I better get my Storm Tornado ready. The suspense. I don't want to be oiled. Make up your mind. Why do you want the treadmill to go? Or the conveyor belt, I meant to say. There we go. Now he's done. You get fire wave. Yes, I do. A trusty flamethrower. I like that. Cutscene. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Yes, we will. But Sigma's gonna have to wait. Because I forgot a heart piece back here. I mean, a heart upgrade. Oh, a heart piece? I must be. I've got Zelda on the membrane. But, anyways, let's get that. And once we do, we can just get out of here. Because that's all we need to get here. I believe it's right over here. There we go. That's done. Now let's go to Spark Mandrel stage, get that last sub tank and a heart upgrade. Oh, look at all that plane did to this place. It's all wrecked. Go to the other side apparently. Oh. oh wait a minute. I know what I'm missing. I need this. Anyways, I'll be right back. I want to get a little further ahead into the stage. Okay, to get the hard upgrade here in Spark Mental Stage requires quite a skill and a lot of patience. Especially since you gotta use the boomerang cutter to actually get it. See, look at this. It takes forever. And I'm clearly failing. Let's try this again. Come on, look at this. Look at this for X. Another cool thing, man. It's always so random. Yeah, I finally did it. It took long enough, so let's stop the video here, okay guys? See ya.